Hey hey, so I just thought I'd make another personal video. I'm back in Leipzig right now and yesterday I was working again. Before that I spent Christmas at my family's place and <laughs> we had a pretty traditional Christmas ritual if you will. Like we had a Christmas tree and we had a Christmas dinner and my grandparents came over and we sang Christmas songs and you know I was just sitting there thinking about the world and just like what the fuck is happening? Like I mean, social inequality is huge. Jeff Bezos is having more than 200 billion US dollars right now. And climate change is also getting worse. Like the coral reefs are bleaching out. They are dying right now. The ice is melting right now. And you know, also we live in the biggest mass extinction since thousands of years. And I'm just sitting there enjoying myself. like. <laughs> singing Christmas songs and you know, I'm just like, what the fuck? This is so, it feels so weird. But of course, in another way, it's also nice to be at my family's place, to spend time with them. And we played some games. I went um, for a walk with my mom and the dog we were having, I played a bit with him and <laughs> it was also funny. Um, and you know, I also spend time with my siblings, so of course those things are nice, but you know, I always have in the back of my head, in the back of my mind, those world problems and that we need to do something about them. So yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm not kidding around with that. I mean, it's crucial for people to understand that trade is the force that pushes people to create problems because people have no clue, they get into conspiracy theories like QAnon or I don't know, like some the flat earth conspiracy or what the fuck is happening, I mean that's ridiculous if you think about it and there are people believing in those things but it's the same, you know, I'm, yeah you can say it's a bit exaggerated but I think it's valid, like if you compare the situation right now with like in the second world war where people had this ideology of Jews are the problems and they are the evil ones basically and we have to kill them and people were just believing in that and doing those things there were people killing other people and then they went back to their family and just enjoying and having a good time and so on and the same is like right now like people work for those big companies like Exxon Mobil or um, Apple and Google and collecting data about people and just like working for the trade system if you will and then they go back to their family and you know there are people are just not good not bad they are just pushed to do certain things and we need to remove that incentive that pushes people to create problems and that's the key thing because the situation right now is also not different from the world war of course there was super bad and horrible what happened there but right now there are also people dying on a daily basis because they lack access to food to water clean water to um, healthcare, to housing and so on but it's possible for us to provide that for everybody on this planet so it's insane if you think about it there are people dying in the Mediterranean Sea right now and those other people here they just go to work because it's such a tricky situation that we're in <laughs> it's just important that people get educated about that because the more people work on trade as the problem the more solutions will emerge so I'm not kidding about that I want to say in 20 years we got trade free transportation in Spain or we got trade free healthcare in Germany or we got trade free housing or accommodation in fucking Venezuela or wherever the fuck, it doesn't matter. Also this thinking of Germany, Switzerland, Italy, Canada, US, what the fuck is going on? We are all just human beings and that's it. There are no things as borders, they are just imaginary and this tribal thinking is just insane. Like come on, this is really primitive. And that's the point we have to make. We live in a primitive society and that's what it is. So yeah, I'm just gonna fucking keep ranting about those things and let's see how it goes. <laughs>
And apart from that, I was also um, looking for an apprenticeship, you know, I also got to play the trade game. So I'm considering making an apprenticeship as a carpenter in Switzerland. So I have an interview now next week on Tuesday until Thursday. So I will stay there for three days and work a bit and see how it is and if I like it. Um, so it will be close to Davos, a super nice area. So yeah, let's see how that goes. And otherwise I want to do more videos about other trade free goods and services. And I also want to add more stuff to the trade free directory, some more goods and services. And you know, you can also help with that. You can submit stuff, you can rate or review stuff. And it's like, we made it participative so people can get involved and can like join that trade free movement and that idea. And it's not like you don't have to, because that's the beauty of the trade free idea. We're not saying you have to do this or you have to do that or you have to do this one. No, not at all. It's, we're just saying, okay, trade creates problems and it's up to you to do something about it. Like you can, if you're a painter, you can make cartoons or comics about those things. You can, if you're a singer, you can write songs and like sing about those things. It's up to you. Like people should come up with solutions. So that's what I really love about this idea. And that's the beauty of it. You don't need to be part of any organization or any club or a member of some sort or so. Just fucking start right now and right here. So yeah, I'll keep you updated with the Switzerland apprenticeship thing. Let's see how that goes and see you then in the next video. Maybe I'll do it about the trade free search engine SERPs, but let's see. I'm not sure yet, um, so let's see. See you then in the next video and as always, I'm just gonna say take care and much love.